Jason and hope you are okay today and it's good to be with you and we're making some videos on Christian Martyrs and I hope this is a blessing to you and encouragement to you so let's come before the Lord Lord Jesus Christ we thank you for your love and your grace and your care we thank you for your blessings and we thank you for your goodness and we thank you, Lord, that you are our God and our Saviour today. And we give you the praise and glory that you are the same God yesterday, today and forever. And so, Father, we praise you and thank you for this day. And we pray that you bless us now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and for your glory, Lord. Amen. It's good to be with you today. And we are looking at Christian Martyrs. And um, we're looking at the book of Fox's Book of Martyrs, Chapter 1. And the Fox's Book of Martyrs, in chapter 1, he says, The history of the church may also be said to be a history of the trials and sufferings of its members, as experience at the hands of wicked men. At one time, persecution as waged against the friends of Christ was confirmed to those without. At another, schisms and divisions of arrayed um, brethren of the same name against each other in scenes of... Uh, scenes of cruelty and woe have exhibited within the sanctuary reviling in horror the direst cruelties over ever inflicted by pagan or barbarian fanaticism this however instead of implying any defect in the gospel system which breeds peace and love only portrays a darker colors the deep universal depravity of the human heart Pure and unsophisticated morality, especially when attempted to be inculcated on mankind, essential to the preserving an interest with the Creator, have constantly met with opposition. It was this which produced the premature death of John the Baptist. It was the cutting charge of adultery and incest which excited and the resentment of Herodias, who never ceased to persecute him until she had accomplished his destruction. The same observation is equally applicable to the Jewish doctors in the treatment of our blessed Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. In the sudden martyrdom of John the Baptist and the crucifixion of our Lord, the history of Christian martyrdom must be admitted to commence from these as a basis of the subsequent occurrences we may fairly trace the origin of that hostility. Um, Saint Stephen suffered the next in order. His death was occasioned by the faithful manner in which he preached the gospel to the betrayers and murderers of Christ. To so such a degree of madness were they excited that they cast him out of the city and stoned him to death. The time when he suffered is generally supposed to have been the Passover which succeeded to that of our Lord's crucifixion and to the era of his ascension in the following spring. Upon this great persecution was raised against all who professed their belief in Christ as the Messiah or as a prophet. We are immediately told by St. Luke that there was a great persecution against the church which was at Jerusalem and that they were all scattered abroad throughout the regions of Judea and Samaria. Philip was born at Bethsaida in Galilee and was first called by the name of disciple. He labored diligently in Upper Asia and suffered martyrdom at Helopolis in Phrygia. He was scourged, thrown into prison and afterwards crucified AD 54. Andrew was the brother of Peter. He preached the gospel to many Asiatic nations but on his arrival at Edessa he was taken and crucified on a cross the two ends of which were fixed traversely in the ground, hence the derivation of um, St. Andrew's cross. St. Mark was born in Jewish parents of the tribe of Levi. He is supposed to have been converted to Christianity by Peter, who he served as an uh, amanuensis, under whose inspection he wrote his gospel in the Greek language. Mark was dragged to pieces by the people of Alexandria at the great solemnity of Serapis, their idol, ending his life under their merciless hands. Uh, Peter was born in Bethsaida in Galilee. He was the occupation of fishermen. 
Christ gave him the name in Syriac in place of rock. Peter is supposed to have suffered martyrdom at Rome during the reign of Nero, being crucified with his head downward on his request. It's however very uncertain whether Peter ever visited Rome at all, the evidence rather favouring the supposition that he ended his days in some other country. The Jude, the brother of James, was commonly called Thaddeus. He was crucified at Edessa, AD 72. Bartholomew preached in several countries and having translated the Gospel of Matthew into the language of India, he propagated in that country. He was at length cruelly beaten and then crucified by the impatient idolaters. Thomas called Didymus preached the Gospel in Perthia, Parthia and India were exciting. The rage of the pagan priests who was martyred by being thrust through with a spear. Luke the Evangelist was the author of the gospel which gone under his name. He travelled with Paul through various countries and is supposed to have been hanged on an olive tree by the idolatrous priests of Greece. Simon surnamed Zealot preached the gospel of Mauritania, Africa and even Brittany, Britain, which later country he was crucified AD 74. John the beloved disciple was brother to James the Great. The churches of Samaria. Pergamus, Sardinia, Philippi, Laodicea, Laodicea, and Thyatira were founded by him from Ephesus. He was ordered to be sent to Rome, where it is affirmed he was cast into a cauldron of boiling oil. He escaped by miracle without injury. Domitian afterwards banished him to the Isle of Patmos. That's John. Who is the only apostle who escaped a violent death? Barnabas was Cyprus, of Cyprus, but of Jewish descent. His death is supposed to have taken place about AD 73. So that's uh, the first part of Fox's Book of Martyrs, and uh, we're going to look now at the next chapter.